What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see from the title, we are officially installing the drunk man tuning off the shelf map for now for all of our uh, support mods come in for the engine. Uh, the reason why, is, as you can see from the last video, we tuned, we got the car at the dyno. It was pretty much not knocking, but the dam was dropping below one like crazy. So the car is cutting out fuel, cutting out power, anything over 5,000 RPM, pretty much made no power. So uh, Anthony from Drunk Man Tuning is going to send me a map, which we did already, uh, off the shelf map. So um, if you're interested, if you don't know how to install like a map, I'm going to show you guys how to install his map. And then we're going to reprogram it to a car to see uh, what kind of changes it will be. So pretty much Anthony is going to give us a little more boost, you know, obviously a safe and uh, conservative tune. And uh, hopefully get rid of the damn issue we have. So. Uh, to do so, you get your cob, and a cob sends a little USB micro. If you're not running a tune to Anthony, which you should, by the way, uh, you can also you can also do it any other way. So uh, through any other like pro tuner that you send you the map. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I plug in my access port. Now it's connected. Anthony sent me some couple email. Here's a flash. So I'm gonna download that. Before we insert the map, you gotta download the access port manager by going to cob. Tuning.com, and you can just download it here, which I'm gonna download. So it's only 20 megabytes. So once that's done, you can install it. And since we're downloading, I'm gonna talk real quick about some of our mods. Our V3 spoiler, which should be here next week by the time the video's out. Uh, I'll show a picture right here. It's our Kokeki V3 duckbill spoiler, which looks really, really good. Uh, it's gonna come color matched uh, for now. Uh, carbon fiber options will be later on. No ETA yet, but we do color match first. So that's that. Uh, our flares, which I'm gonna post a picture here. As you can see, our flares gonna be color matched. Uh, these are just uh, pretty much not rendering, but it's pretty much done. These are gonna be exactly how it's gonna look once we uh, process the mold and you know, mass produce them. So they're gonna come color match, 10 millimeter wider. You have open vents in the rear, uh, as you can see from the photo. And the front, it's gonna be pretty much the same as OEM. Keep it close to OEM. We don't want to make it too wide because the reason why is even though you can go 20 millimeter wider, you still got to shave the inner trim of the fender, which we don't want to do that. So we're going to keep it very close to OEM, but slightly more aggressive and, you know, low, obviously color matched. It's going to, the pricing wise, uh, I don't have the ETA yet, but it's going to be around under a thousand if I remember correctly from our meeting. But that's that. Let's continue on our uh, call access port. So I just downloaded the Manager, uh, once I plug it in, it's already so it's telling me the access port is connected to computer, so it's good. So I have some logs here, which I, I just testing myself, so I have to leave those, I'll leave those. So let's go into maps. As you can see, you have stage 191, V100, which is the one we have on our current WX, which is getting us a lot of, you know, drop and dam and power cuts. So uh, with Anthony's tune, it should, you know, be better. So let's find out. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna search for maps. So here it is on my desktop, AFD 91. Boom, I'm gonna click upload. Wanna match not match Google? I sure you wanna copy? Yes, I do. So here it is. Anthony's map, refresh number, uh, reflash number two. And that's pretty much it. And then you gotta do is uh, eject your access port. Once that's done. Okay, we're gonna head back to the car. Oh, by the way, we have a, have a, New V2 front lip with a red pin strip. That's gonna come out too. We'll, we'll get into that details later. Anyway, our Elantra. A lot of people have been asking about the Elantra. Um, our arrow's almost done. The front splitter, side splitter diffuser, almost done. Our front lip's almost done. A lot of parts coming. A suspension I ordered from Korea. You know, I made a really, I got a really nice spring coming. So I'm looking forward. I haven't driven this car in like about a week and a half, so I do miss it a little bit. But I just miss my dip brakes. Yeah, look at our dip brakes. It's sick. So, hey Jerry, hop on in. Okay, so uh, once you install the map on the cob, you just plug it in back to your car, go to change ECU map. Let us do this thing. I have my reflash here. And uh, now we wait. So on Facebook, this individual, he was able to source all the parts for a, a Brembo kit. It's not the big Brembo kit, but it's like the four to two. So um, I bought all the parts already. I'm gonna show you guys how to put together. The bill came out to like less than like $2,000 for everything. And we still gotta powder coat the brakes. So um, comment below, let us know what color we should powder coat it. Yeah, what color should we powder coat, Jerry? Green, it is green. Oh, 
Wow, Jerry. It's green. Man, what'd you do? But uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, we got the brakes ready. We just gotta get a powder coat in. And then uh, we have uh, Ray Motorsports. Uh, I'll put the information here. They officially sponsored the build as of today, which is uh, February 7th. We're gonna get their front mount intercooler. We're gonna get their intake all titanium, right? So pretty badass. So, and then we have our down pipe we're gonna put on, and we have our single exit exhaust can. Oh my god, so much parts, guys, so much cars. And I gotta take the wing off because a lot of people talking. Sh you know, I don't really? know why, yeah, but well, the why? swan neck. I don't know, I think it looks good, but anyways, my heart is still with the STI wing, so I'll put back the STI wing. I think it looks better, right? Anyway, before we do that, we're gonna put our new V3 duck bill next week. This is so long. Yeah, still waiting. You know why? Because it's a lot of power, okay? Anthony's gonna give us a lot of power, okay? I'm actually pretty excited. He also gave me a little a little burble, you know, in the back. Yeah, oh, all right. yeah. so we're gonna go test drive, right? Yeah, after this, we're gonna get lunch, because Jerry's gonna buy me lunch today. Also, our Elantra, all our aero parts is almost ready. We're excited for that. I don't know if I, I don't know if I should open the door. What's open the door and like blows the, up? The, yeah, these two locks. We're gonna wait. But there's a small resonator over there. But I don't think that make that much of a difference. They do sell downpipes for this car, so I rather we just better get a downpipe, you know. But our Elantra looking sexy for those followings for Elantra. Our, well, a lot of videos coming out for the Elantra. Okay, just for all Aero stuff, we do fabricate house for our splitters and stuff. If you guys don't know, now you guys know. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much all the updates. Uh, 89. Uh, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Car, oh no, just kidding. So turn turn the vehicle off, just like we did before, okay? Click OK. So now the, the car is like, think this way. A, this car just got a new brain, guys, you know? A new brain. More power, I think, you know. Uh, more efficiency, and you know, it's a little burp, but I'm excited, because we have like... Let's go for a drive. Yeah. Turn the on position. Continue. Okay, successful. successful. That's good enough. All right, guys. I think we're good. Let's go. For a start, I'm just gonna choke a little bit, I think. Oh. Oh, snap. All right, guys, the dam, which is the most important, okay? It was dropping always under one, so. Uh, Anthony, well, we'll go for a drive right now. So far, it's good. So, let's get the car warmed up. Let me back it out real quick. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna log it, and then uh, in case anything, I can just send it to uh, Anthony. <laughs> Dude, oh, oh, it burbles too. Alright, I'm gonna shut up for like five minutes, okay? You hear that, guys? Oh, a lot more pumps, guys. The dam is under by one the whole time. A lot more burbles. A little burble here? Yeah, it's like burble, burble, burble. My downshift, ready, guys? <laughs> this is kind of addicting. Yo, Anthony, thanks again, man. I don't know what you did, but uh, you told me little burbles. Oh, 18 uh, PSI boost now? 18 PSI, yeah. Also, guys, boost is a lot higher now. 18.6. Get a little poor here. Ridiculous. I don't think he's coming back. Oh my god, he left me. Smells like. Cool. 
clutch. This is an like EV parking somewhere. <laughs> Just kidding, we're gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> He's gonna get in trouble. We're gonna get in trouble, guys. This is it for today's little vlog video, the update video. So, uh, shout out to Anthony again. His is uh, Instagram. Make sure you hit him up if you're interested in a pro tune or any kind of tune for your 20 to the breast. I think we gained an extra what, two pounds, Jerry? Yeah. Possibly. So 18.8 pounds of boost. Whew. That's a lot. The damage to it. Um, get a lot of pops and burbles and a bunch of stuff. So super neat. I'm excited to uh, actually get an actual full tune from him once we get all the supporting mods done. And uh, I'm going to take the Indie Raps right now. Take the Swanek wing off. I like it, but <laughs> I don't know about the SCI wing because I think it looks better. Before we do that, we're going to stop back our duck boat trunk and put the V3 duck boat on next week. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks for joining us today, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. And I will see you guys next time.